Let's talk about making things more interesting, making your content more viral. I've touched on this topic before in a video about Murray Davis. I've talked about this research that this guy did to figure out like which academic papers, which research in the academic world was more interesting to people. I wanna look at Murray Davis and I'll, I'll summarize it for people who haven't seen this video. And I also wanna go through Casey Neistat. I think Casey, he, everybody watching this YouTube channel probably knows who Casey Neistat is. Very popular YouTuber. And if we look at his things, can we draw out something to understand what makes content more interesting. So Murray Davis, he goes and he, he looks at academic research and figures out which academic research is, is the most interesting and it turns out the most interesting stuff isn't the stuff that's the most true, it's not the stuff that's like the most rigorous science or the hardest science. The most interesting research is the stuff that breaks our conceptions of the world. It shows us that what we thought was actually kind of false is actually true or the stuff that we're, we're so set on is true is actually false. That's the stuff that we, we look at and we say, my mind is blown. Casey's a really interesting kind of specimen and data set because you can go and easily find the stuff that, that has had the most impact for Casey. It's been the most interesting videos that have had the most views. Make it count. Nike hired him to make a commercial for their Nike fuel band, right? Of course, if you're given a bunch of money uh, by a big company, you know, to make a commercial, you're gonna do it. No, nope. Casey ends up spending all the money and to, to go around the world with a buddy of his and film it and put that on YouTube. But often there are obstructions that keep you from properly riding in the bike lane. <laughs> You've got Bike Lanes, one of, of Casey's earlier pieces of work that, that was one of the first viral videos out there. I mean, again, everybody, you know, of course you need to be in the bike lane, right? It's safer for you. You can't be biking in the street. And if you do, cops are going to ticket you. Of course they are. Casey shows that if you follow the rules and, and follow what everyone tells you you have to do and you go in the bike lanes, bike lanes are seriously dangerous. And if, if you don't get out of the bike lanes, you're gonna end up falling through a manhole or, or crashing into a taxi. We never want to have to arrest someone in this situation, but we will arrest them if needed. If you're just a civilian out driving, you are subject to arrest. It's as simple as that. Another good one, snowboarding through the streets of New York. Of course you can't do it. You especially can't snowboard through the streets of New York City when there is a police announcement on television that says, Anyone caught driving through this New York City blizzard was subject to arrest. Nope, Casey does it. Casey has his friend tow him through the streets of New York, and at the end of the video, he even has a really pleasant interaction with a set of cops. I think all of these, and if you go through a, a ton of his movies, you see the same pattern over and over again. It's, you think you can't do this, you think the rules are this way, you think the expectation is this, and Casey shows that it's something else. You don't have to do the commercial like Nike says, you don't have to follow the rules, you can make this thing that nobody's made before. Over and over and over he does something that a lot of people don't think you can do. Even Casey's experiment at doing the vlog is this way, right? I mean, daily vlogs, those are you know, terrible footage and the stories are usually pretty boring, but no, he says, you know, I'm gonna make this thing cinematic. I'm gonna carry this crazy gear around with me to make the shots all nice and steady. And I'm gonna tell three act stories as often as I can. And okay, sure, you can do that, but you can't do it every day. Nope, I'm gonna do it every single day. I, the guy is always just this exercise of doing things that break people's expectations. But an additional thing, uh, actually kind of happened this week. There was a, uh, a new paper that came out. There was a grad student who was upset that her research didn't feel transformative enough. And her advisor was like, you're, 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 you're being crazy. People can't predict what's going to be transformative. And so she goes ahead and she finds the most transformative like ecology research. There's like, she put out a survey, she reads like 72 people who've had really successful research that's transformed the sciences. And she asked them, could you predict that your work was going to be transformative? Out of 72 people, four 
had some idea that the work was gonna be transformative when they were kind of coming up with the work. That's 6%. There's actually a, a video Casey makes about making viral videos. And it talks about, you know, making stuff that's relevant, you know, kind of paying attention to the zeitgeist. If you're going to try to make an interesting video, you probably don't want it to be about some sort of niche quantum physics thing, unless that's your audience. But if your audience is, is the general population and you want the, the most exposure possible, well, you know, doing something about Christmas, doing something about, you know, airplanes and, and things that we all share and, and a lot of people share, well, that's, that's good ground for a viral video, for interesting stuff. But at the end of that how to make a viral video, he has a really interesting point in which he too says, like even after I give you all this advice. The truth is, I have no idea how or why the video goes viral. And I think that's what this paper kind of discovers this week, that you can do all this effort and you can give yourself kind of the biggest chance you can get at, at making some interesting stuff and yet, it's still a crapshoot. It's very hard to predict. And the really only thing you can do is just making more stuff, make more stuff, make more projects. Give yourself more chances at some of the stuff to hit. And so to summarize this whole thing, I, I think Casey actually has another video that is one of his most watched things, which is Do what you can't. Do what you can't. And I think that encapsulates Murray Davis's research very well. Go out and do a lot of things that the rules say you can't do, that the physics say you can't do, that all the all the things that, that have been you know told you can't do, these expectations break them. That's the stuff that is the most interesting. If you want the stuff to spread, you gotta do those things at which at first you and the people around you think you can't do. And if you wanna to succeed at it, you know, that's that's not enough. You need to do more than one of these things. Keep launching project after project. I know a lot of people give up after their first startup. It's not easy. My wife and I sat down today thinking about content and thinking about business decisions that we could do that would be a little bit more of that ilk of doing what we can't, doing things that might be against the rules, and it's tough. Some of the stuff that comes out is like borderline illegal. <laughs> And you can kind of see how that that is the stuff when you have to start questioning like is this even possible or is there a law about this you got to kind of push some boundaries and and obviously you gotta you gotta stay safe but you also have to kind of find out where those boundaries are and you got to do it enough times so i hope that's something i hope that gets you to, to start thinking about about making some of your stuff more interesting and how to spread it and thank you everybody for watching these videos. This channel just keeps growing and I love doing these videos. So I hope you had an awesome day. Please hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.